Man, why is it that white folks get to buy a zoo and get all this whimsical stuff, but when we buy property, it's a haunted house? What's up with that? This is what had happened on Lovecraft Country episode of three. Y'all doing too much. Your boy Spider Man is aka D Man. Your man, I'm sitting here with my sister, my day one, the one who holds it down from my co host, Darius. What's up, Darius? What's up, Darius? And welcome to our little recap for Lovecraft Country episode three. Things went down, stuff went spoopy. But before we get started, y'all know the drill. If you like to see this channel continue to grow and thrive, please make sure to subscribe to us, hit the bell icon to get notifications because we got videos for you. Every daggone day rates from video games to movies to wrestling to even these little recaps right here. Also, head on over to, oh wait, that's flipped it. Like it in the content that you do enjoy and comment down below because we do like to hear from you, our content fans. I was jumping right, yeah. right to the Patreon stuff immediately. Mm -hmm. Okay, so episode three, this, this, this series is moving perfectly down the line, just like eh, skittering right down the line, yeah. giving us all the scary goodness because the first two episodes, it was really setting the tone, getting us, you know, uh, a lot of our anxiety up for the racial tension that was the 50s, uh, dealing with that. And then all of a sudden it's like, hey, you got to deal with that. And now ghosts. Yeah. Yeah. Episode three named the Holy Ghost aptly. Uh, we, we, we ended up uh, having Letty buy a house. So uh, so this time around, because I did get uh, a few pointers and comments down below, so we wanted to make sure to give you guys a chance to skip right ahead and avoid any potential spoilers if you haven't managed to catch uh, Lovecraft Country uh, this past Sunday, because we watched it this morning. Mm. So we didn't, because uh, we were dealing with uh, some wrestling stuff. And also, I'm very glad we did. Yeah, yeah. Not, 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 no. No. No, you weren't, you weren't with that? I, no. But anyway, uh, what we're going to do right now is going to... foreshadowing, too. Yeah. What we're going to do right now, though, is we're going to jump right ahead to our little recap of the episode. If you want to skip that and avoid any spoilers, go ahead and take a look at the timestamp on this next card that's about to drop right about now. Okay. So Letty buys herself... A house, the Winthrop house. Yeah. And the north side of Chicago. I want to know if that's, if that's true. Chicago. Is it really a Winthrop? No, there's probably not a Winthrop house, but there was, there are some true <laughs> things that we're going to talk about uh, when we go to our breakdown. But uh, she bought the house, intending it to be a boarding house for uh, other black folk mm -hmm. to give them a for safe haven. Of color. Black folk. Okay. Like when, when it's black, it's black. Okay. So give other black folk a chance to you know, live in safety and in harmony and to yeah. thrive in this location to give them safe harbor, safe passage. And we find out that, uh, well, first of all, white folk don't like it because yeah. they, they, they made sure immediately uh, to, to let their voices be heard. They, yeah. they moved in, they made sure to move in on the Sunday, which was very smart. It was very but smart because everybody was at church. So there you go. no one was gonna be starting mess. That's the intention, but that of was, course yeah. they, you know, Church isn't an all day service. No, so not. of course they came home, started honking horns and you know, making sure that they made their voices heard. They're yeah. like, yo, this we don't want you here. Uh, and also <coughs> we, aside from the white folk, we also have ghosts. Yeah. G -g 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 ghosts. So we went from monsters to ghosts. Monsters to ghosts. This is incredible an incredibly haunted house. Yeah. Uh, we like immediately got people yanking off uh sheets and robes yeah and, this is and some paranormal stuff. activity and going immediate. on it was immediate yeah i was it was immediate uh now they did they did have a little title card which was uh you know it went by really fast it i wasn't did. fully able to read it. even when we tried to pause it, it was like okay yeah it's not be that easy but they they wanted to talk about you know how some people disappeared within 10 days of living in a house in 1956 and this is kind of 55, sorry. Uh, and this was very uh, mirroring that a lot because we had a lot of paranormal stuff and happened to deal with, of course, the racial tension because that's basically the show. Yeah. Right about now. Yeah, that's the point of the show. So she's moving a lot of people in. We have a, a, a I'm not going to say a cameo, but like a nice little 
nod because uh, we, we got a little nod to James Baldwin uh, coming in to live yeah. in for a little bit. Uh, but they're trying to move everybody in. White folks don't like it. They started uh, honking their horns and laying on the horn, putting little bricks oh, on the horns yes. to make sure that their whole time there was not going to be fun in any way, shape, yeah. or form. They then have themselves a little night, a little night party, a nice, nice little singing, yeah. dancing. Kind of just drown out the, yeah. the horns and have a good, have a fun little good time. Yeah. Uh, but then again, we still get some more paranormal stuff. People hiding in mirrors and Ouija boards. Don't bring a Ouija board. Don't, don't bring, don't leave Ouija boards alone, please. Yeah, because you know, okay, so you know, in most black homes, when there is a party, adults are in one area, kids are in another. Yeah. So with this particular episode, they showed that. Yeah. Adults are up in one area, kids are down in another area. Kids being kids found the Ouija board, decided to play with the Ouija board. Something that you pointed out that I did not think of. One of the little boys said, I'm getting ready to go on a trip and ask the Ouija board, am I going to, to enjoy, enjoy my the trip? trip? And the Ouija board said, no. Hell no. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about that little reference uh, in our little next part right there because that we got a few of them. We definitely got a few of them, but uh, they end up uh, getting a cross burnt on their yard and uh, that sets Letty off. She takes a bat to all the, the cars outside the house, breaking windows, knocking off the horns. And then, you know, cops of course get called because why not? Yeah. Cops get called, Letty gets picked up and gets a rough ride in a paddy wagon. Again, another thing we're gonna be talking about just next. Um, this is this is this is this 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 was this was heavy. Yeah. This was heavy because this like was a little heavy. yeah, it was a little heavy uh, because Lady gets that little rough ride, gets told about the Winthrop house. She yeah. digs a little bit deeper into it, finds out hey, the place is haunted. People disappeared. A lot of n words disappeared in yeah. the house, and she's finding out who they are, and decides you know what? Let's 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 cleanse this motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Cleanses it. Shiz goes down. Yeah. Yeah. They found a. Who did they find? Uh, it was the uh, it was the, the scientist Hiram Epstein. No, 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 no. To cleanse the house. Oh, oh, they, yeah. They they found a, a Creole woman. Who yeah. Slaughters a goat and you know uses the blood, marks them and saves them. And it, they're safe for yeah, a time. They are. But then you know water sprays clear clears that completely clear. Jesus Christ, this episode was full of shit. Yeah. My God, I, I didn't want to watch this anymore because in a good way, because like we, we do these little horror reviews and it's like a lot of them was like, oh, jump scares. There's no jump scares in this. And I still felt skeevy. Yeah. I didn't like this. But basically, yeah, I think, think things finally hold up when, you know, they cleanse it and she says their name and gives them back their power and they take their power back from their tormentor who was also locked there in the house who wanted everybody else to get out. And I I immediately thought it was like, oh man, how, how are all these like little black ghosts, you know, going against these black people? Mm -hmm. It wasn't them, it was no. Hiram. Yeah, Hiram was. decided to, you know, try to kick everybody out the yeah. house. But Jesus Christ, there's a lot going on right here that like, uh, I know we missed a few things, but Jesus Yeah, Christ, we probably I, did. I, I it, it's starting to ramble a little I, I, bit. Yeah, I, I, I yeah. couldn't. But anyway, that's that's what happened on uh, episode three. Jesus Christ. So, I know there's a lot of references in the, in the like the past two episodes, a lot of references uh, to uh, uh, Denmark Vesey, um, you know, Sundown Towns. This one particular episode right here, Holy Ghost, has a few of them. And I know we missed a few of them, but uh, we, we caught a couple of them right about now because I yeah. know you two caught the uh, the Emmett Till reference uh, right there with the Ouija board, right? Yeah, it was the Ouija board. Again, as I mentioned previously, when, you know, there's a party going on, kids are in one area, the kids trying to entertain themselves, found a Ouija board, went into the basement and decided to use the Ouija board. And one of the kids asked about going on a trip. It didn't click with me for a minute there. It just kind of took me a minute to like, oh, okay. And then it was like, wait, pause. They're in Chicago. There was a kid in Chicago in 1955 who did go on a trip for the summer to visit family in the South. That was in a tale. I think it was a little bit earlier than that. No. It wasn't. It wasn't. No. Oh, okay. Mm -mm. But no, that was. But the right there you time. go. But what what was it that that made you catch on to that? Like like what what made? Uh, it, like, I think when he asked, "I'm going on a trip. Am I going to enjoy my trip?" Yeah. Okay. And it said no. <laughs> and then I saw how he was dressed because if you catch his clothing, 
that's the clothes that he wore in one of those pictures. In one yeah. of the pictures yeah. for his funeral. Yeah. Okay. Because you remember it was an open casket. Yeah. His mom made it an open casket. Yeah, because she wanted to make yes. sure that everybody saw everybody uh, saw what, what was going, going on, on down in the South. Yeah. Now, um, Letty was caught in the paddy wagon for for one of those uh, for one scene, and she gets roughed up just like the car is just swerving left and right, left and right, you know, bouncing her off against the wall while the cop is just holding on to it. And it just reminded me of uh, Freddie Gray, yeah. uh, where you know they uh, the Baltimore police picked him up. They claimed he had a knife, uh, and they threw him in the back of their paddy wagon, and somehow his spine gets severed. And a lot of media just took whatever uh, the police said as gospel, like, oh, he did it to himself. But they also admitted that they used to do these tactics where they just slam, you know, left and right, just give them the hardest ride ever while they just untethered to the seats, you yeah. know, seat belts and just causing as much damage as possible. And they did it to let it just really made me yeah. think about, you know, instances of Freddie Gray or even Sandra Bland, where it's like Letty has a record mm -hmm. and the way that they take a lot of the testimony and a lot of the police reports just as gospel without looking further into it. Yeah. It's like, man, if Letty had died in that particular situation right there, how many people would have just excused it or even just dismissed it as just, oh, well, she died. The police said she was a trouble. She yeah, because she had a record. Yeah, just because she had a record. Yeah. And it's just like, it just made you really think, because like you're trying to feel, you're feeling for these these characters and you're trying, you're, you're not even trying, you're seeing a lot of the parallels yeah. between real life activity and actions right here. And just, just like it said, Freddie Gray mm -hmm. and Sandra Bland, just how quickly people were to just dismiss it and go like, oh, well, they deserved it. They, they Yeah, they it. had a record. And that but, really hit me right there. Yeah, when, when I was well, and then one. again, that was, that was the trope back in the day. Yeah. So it's, it's, I mean, they're still kind of doing it now, but I mean, I mean yeah, they are, they yeah. are. But as you said, with a lot of those cases that you're mentioning, they are going, they are, they have been rallying to go back and look at those cases and yeah. open them back up. Yeah. Yeah. As in like the Fred, uh, Freddie Gray. No, the, uh, Black Panther movie that's coming oh, out. Oh, Fred Hampton. Yeah. Like Fred Hampton. Yeah. That, yeah. They're thinking oh, of God, going back that's... in. Mm. Yeah. So yeah. like that, that's one of those parodies with this show. Yeah, they're, they're they're really bringing a lot of that in. Another yeah. another reference that they made uh, was a Trumbull Park, a, a, yeah. a race a race riot. I hate that term, race riot. Yeah. It wasn't a race riot. It was you know white folks mass trying to massacre black folk. That's really all it was. Yeah. Uh, but uh, it happened in the you know 53, 54 uh, in the north side of Chicago, just because uh, some some black people wanted to move into a white neighborhood. Oh. So they made they made sure to make a reference to that. And yeah. another thing that I just caught on is just for me personally mm. is I love Looney Tunes. And a lot of times, oh, yeah. the first time I actually heard the song was on Looney Tunes, the Is You Is or Is You Ain't My Baby. Yeah. And it always made me feel a weird way. I never liked it. I, that's, that's the thing. It's like, I, I it, never it, it liked all, it. Because they always like affected some kind of black scent or yeah. like some sort of yeah. like black face ish you know, kind of thing. Yeah. So, you know, with the black face, especially with the cartoons like Looney Tunes, oh, yeah. that was done like in the 40s the and the 50s. The big puffy black uh, pink Yeah. Lips. Of course, the distinguished meant of black folks was big lips, big nose, uh, gouging out eyes for whatever reason. Yeah, just and super yeah, exaggerated features. Yeah, just thing. super exaggerated features where we do not speak correctly. So that's the ideal of a black person and that's not. So whenever you heard that song, yeah. that's what you got. I never liked it whenever I heard it, especially on cartoons. I was like, yeah, no, I'm done. I didn't care who sung it. I didn't care if a white person sung it, a black person is Hispanic. I didn't care. Cause I, I remember like Daffy I, it Duck just, I did, uh, did it one yes. time, like dressed in a zoot suit, hair slicked back, like yeah. is you is or oh, is with the big, but like yeah, but big old black big scent lips. like yeah. going on with that. Yeah. But like with this, with this one, like, you know, seeing, you know, someone in refined air, nice dress, you know, looking dressed to the nines and yeah. singing it without the over exaggerated, you know, features. It was a person accent. singing it, was it basically. Good. It was I a person it. singing it. Yeah. It was just a person singing it. That's it. Yeah. So, <laughs> so it was a person singing it. it. It shouldn't have to be any of that. It was a person. I bleed, you bleed, she bleeds. It was a freaking person that sung the song. And that's what they brought to the forefront. And that's what I liked. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I know there's some, I know there's some possibly some things that we missed, but let us know what we might've missed in, in, in terms of references or even just things, uh, little features and things that we missed. Uh, let us know in the comments down below, because again, we do like to hear from you, our Kaiju faithful. Also head on over to Patreon. See, I got it right this time. Mm -hmm. Head on over to patreon.com slash where we can give you some updates on the site, the story, and the channel. And uh, 
you know, get, participate in any polls and get any updates on any merch we have new for just for you. Uh, I want to thank you guys again for watching us and watching the video and hope you guys have a wonderful day. Catch y'all later. Bye.